next person will be ready to go. We will start with uh, Mark Weiser, followed by Seth Emerson. Mark? Hey, Nakobe, how are you? I'm good. How are y'all? Good. I want to ask you, obviously, you guys have some uh, experience back at, at safety, um, you know, uh, this year. What about the corners and the star position? How do you feel about that from what you've seen in the preseason? Uh, I feel great about it. You know, um, they they have put in the work. Everybody on, on the team and the defense have put in the work. You know, I trust our coach to put the right people in the right positions uh, to make us to make us good, good defense. I'm good. I can pass. Okay, we'll go to Mike Griffith, followed by Vance Levy. Uh, hey, Nicobe, I want you to kind of go back in the um, way back machine on JT Daniels being with the scout team. We, we talked with Eric Stokes last year about the work JT got against the first team defense. Can you can you um, recall uh, what that was like and when you were impressed with him? And then um, and then also um, just how much confidence you think he gives the offense now? Um, back when he was on the scout team, as if. I was impressed with the uh, basically how he hung, how he handled it. You know what I'm saying? Coming from where he came from and who he was, how he handled being on Scott team, how he attacked it every day. And now he just he gives the uh, the office. I feel like all the confidence and well, you know, uh, they are on his back. Everybody on the team is on his back uh, to be able to be the one uh, to offensively lead this team. Now, Nakobe, uh when you were out in the spring, Kirby talked about how. Even though you weren't on the field, you were you were out there mentally taking everything in. How, how have you grown in, to being the leader uh, in your unit? And then are there some younger guys that uh, impressed you on the D this this camp? Yeah, um, me being able to stay engaged in the spring was just just, just came from me loving ball and, and knowing that when I came back, I wanted to be. I wanted to be better, you know. Uh, I probably wasn't able to get better with my with the technique or so, but I was able to get better mentally. So that was um, a big thing for me. And then uh, guys who impressed the camp, I feel like we have we had a lot of guys uh, who had who had a good camp. You know, work hard. It's definitely you know camp is definitely a grind. It's a lot of people, including myself, that got better this camp, uh, and we'll be able to help the team this fall. Okay, let's go to Emily with CBS 46, followed by uh, Jed May. Emily, are you there? Okay, let's go on to Jed. Hey, Nakobe, um, I wanted to ask you about, you know, a couple older guys in this defense, you know, Amir Speed and, and even the Tavia Sprini, too, a couple guys who have kind of waited their turn to play and they might be in line for some playing time. Um, early in the season, just what have you seen from them about those guys sort of, you know, seizing their opportunity to, to get some playing time heading through this fall camp? Oh, yeah, they definitely have uh, been seizing. You know, they definitely been uh, putting in the work. You know, everything they have definitely taken advantage of the opportunity they get because they know they've been for a while, they've been waiting on it. And and they are – they have not only been taking advantage, they also have been helping the young guys also. Uh, they who's basically who's learning the defense and everything like that. They don't uh, shy away from helping them and and just providing them with little things and everything to help them get better also. So you know I admire that. Okay, let's go to Connor Riley, followed by Cody Chaffins. Hey Nakobe, what's Jordan Davis like away from the field and how is that contrasted with you know how he actually is once he's in between the white lines and the whistle blows? Yeah, so you know Jordan Davis in the locker room and off the field, you know he's fun. He's fun. He's real uh, uppity. He's uh funny. He always cracks jokes. Probably one of the funniest guys on the team. You know, then you know uh between the lines, he he, he JD basically. You know, um, he handles his business. He uh, very business oriented, but then he can still like yes, he can still crack a joke and keep the uh the move light. You know, uh, when the times you know when times are uh, probably a little. Awesome. Nicobe, you get to start the season against a team like Clemson, who has got this national brand now. I, the guys were saying it feels like any other game, and I know that you're supposed to say that, but what kind of measuring stick can this be to kind of figure out how good you guys really are when you play a team like Clemson? Well, the, the way we're going to prepare and everything, like we're going to prepare 
just like every game, like is is national championship. So um, the way our coaches don't have us going into it and practicing and preparing and watching film, it's just gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna allow us to be able to do that for the rest of the season and every every week, no matter who we play and the way we prepare, we prepare the same way. You know, and it being the first game of the season, not not only it being Clemson, but the first game of the season, you know, emotions are gonna be high, you know, and and I've been ready to play, you know, uh, you know, not being able to have, have that spring ball experience. So fall camp and everything has been great for me. So I'm ready to play. Okay, let's go to Jake Roos, followed by Chip Towers. You know, Nakobe, uh, a lot's been made, I think, of, uh, you know, the defensive lines and uh, the secondary in this game. And we really haven't talked a lot about you guys in the middle of the defense. What do you feel like you guys have to do uh, in order to be successful and to give your guys the best chance to win? How do the middle linebackers and the outside linebackers uh, kind of have to shape the game? Uh, other than other than leading defense and making all the calls and everything, I feel like we got to uh, – we gotta stay composed and make sure everybody, everybody on the defense stay composed, and everybody have attention to detail throughout the week, or we can execute at a high level. I feel like we had them two things, and the attention to details and stay composed. I feel like, I feel like it, it's got to limit what we can do. Yeah, Nakobe. Obviously, there's a lot new on Clemson's uh, offense. You know, with DJ at quarterback and uh, ETN moved on, and that kind of stuff. Uh, do you feel like you guys got a strong feeling on, you know, what you're going to see in terms of how they try to exploit you uh, strategically, or, or is it kind of a mystery in that regard? Oh, well, we, you know, we watch film and uh, I trust our coaches to, uh, to basically put us in the right, in the right places and basically tell us what, what we should be able to look for and what we should look for ourselves and, and, when they are, um, when we are watching film and everything like that, so I, I have full trust in our coaches that that they got the best interest in heart in winning the game. Okay, let's go to David Pascal, followed by Roddy Nabulsi. All right, we'll go to Roddy. Jacoby, the the fans, the media, we've been breaking this game down for nine months, trying to tear it apart and figure out what the matchups are going to be like, the key aspects of it and all that stuff. From your standpoint, what is the key factor that determines the outcome of this game? Uh, like I said before, I feel like uh, the key factor definitely for us, something we've been ho uh, honing in on is uh, staying composed and having the attention to detail. You know, you have to stay composed. Uh, He's going to be a big stage, you know, everything, a lot of noise and everything just like that. But you can stay composed and you know your job and everything. And then you have attention to detail and know what you got to do. You can, um, and you can execute at a high level. So I feel like them the two things that we're we going to focus on. And, uh, them two things we're going to focus on and to uh, help us. Okay, we got time for two more questions. We'll go to Paul Newberry and finish up with Gene Sapikoff. Hey, do you like uh, playing a game? You know, you say it's you look at it like any other game, but is do you prefer to kind of start with a game like this rather than a perhaps a game that uh, you know you're expected to win rather easily? Oh yeah, I love football, but it being the first game of the season, you know, uh, it really don't matter. You know, it, it being the first game of the season, like my high school coach used to say, we can they can they can set the ball out on the parking lot, concrete, and we can go play. That's how I hyped up I am, but just 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 being the first game of the season, so I'm 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 excited, you know, uh, to get the season jumped off and everything like that. Nicobe, uh, tell me what has surprised you about Darion Kendrick, and how would you describe his personality? Well, it's surprised the, the way he worked, you know, he uh he he definitely got when come in. He had, we haven't complained about anything. He just came in ready to work. Uh, grateful for, for the opportunity to uh, to be here and everything like that. So this this that what has basically it hasn't surprised me, but it basically made me look at him like, yeah, he a guy who really want to play, who, who really love the game, who really you know uh, got something to play for and everything. So he just, in the way he bought into the team, to the team uh, culture and everything. You know, a lot of guys who uh, transfer 
sometimes take them a minute, you know, to buy into the team, we'll get acquainted with the teammates and everything, but kind of seemed like he just hopped in and was like part of us right away. Okay, Nagobi, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Stand by for 